Hello everybody, Tracy Brown. Happy Friday. So it's Friday Q&A and just a little summary of the week's videos and posts I've been putting here on, on this um, social media here. And so I want to do a little summary of the week just so you can all kind of reorient to what I might be talking about. So on Sunday I posted a, a podcast that I was on that really just takes us back to the basics of of intuitive eating like how to notice the signals what a hunger scale looks like and how it can help you um, and then the rest of the week's video was really about being able to sit with discomfort why that's important what that looks like and yeah that was the video I want to believe on Tuesday sorry if I don't remember accurately Monday or Tuesday and the rest of the week have just been some posts around those discomforts that we avoid so much or we repress um, with either not eating, eating, um, mental, um, I call it the motor, the mental motor of like getting the calories right, getting the workout right, getting the um, components right, whatever it is, that motor, that's always your sign that I am trying to manage something that doesn't feel very comfortable. And so that's your first step. And that's what we talked about this week quite a bit is um, and one last thing before I forget, tomorrow, Saturday, I'm going to be um, loading up here. You can go find it for yourself if you want to on YouTube on Mary Hyatt's channel. But I'm going to be putting the link here tomorrow for you to have some weekend support and listening around. Um, mostly it was about the messy middle of learning how to be more at peace with your food. So where it's like the newness and the sparkleness is where it worn off. And now you're really dealing with your stuff. The stuff that's coupled with food and weight and body and exercise and then like making some room and space for that to feel more manageable and then at the same time being able to keep making forward progress with your food um, whether that's eating enough whether that's slowing down more to know where your edge is with fullness we're doing all that this week so can anybody give me a thumbs up just real quick to make sure that you can hear me I didn't I was trying to do a video earlier this week and it didn't work out because the sound was awful um, I had to re-erase it so anyway does it can I get a thumbs up from anybody real quick just let me know thank you so much I appreciate it good okay so um, what I want to say today about discomfort is it's really easy to get mad at yourself super easy to get mad at yourself for sensations or get mad at yourself for like, why do I think this way? Why am I doing this? Why am I still doing this? Don't I know better? And the truth is that those sensations, those things are coupled with unlooked um, at stuff. And the way that your system happens to be managing that is through maybe body obsession or eating too little, um, not, quite know where you're at, quite, not quite knowing where your edges are with the fullness, maybe even eating in a way that feels punishing and not supportive or maybe it's eating in a way that um, um, yeah, just doesn't work but we keep doing it anyway or maybe it's um, I, um, I know how to feel better but I can't quite let myself have it or maybe I don't feel like it's for me um, there could be so many um, takes on that but you just we can't get to that knowing that wisdom to let and be able to let that go if we spend all of our time running and avoiding and even honestly complaining about like I know I need to eat more or I know I need to slow down or or I need to have more um, patience or what are all the no's and all that kind of stuff is um, we can have a lot of head knowing but if we don't have um, a platform to feel safe feeling that stuff um, and we haven't had a lot of experience and maybe like just being with somebody to help us manage that it can we get we pop back up out of our head and blame and judge and get frustrated with ourselves again and again and so gosh what I'm suggesting here is that instead of like I know I need to eat more I know I you know I don't really need as much as I'm eating um, you know I don't want to be counting calories but I am it's really important to have compassion for well this is the platform I have and I'm building in process. If you're not, if you're listening to this video, you are in process of connecting in some way with another human in a non judging kind of way to like build a, th a more solid platform for like, I can feel uncomfortable stuff. And how new is that? 
you know, can I take that in? Can I keep that? Um, do I feel like it's for me? And if you can answer yes to those questions, then you're on the right track. If it's a no, then you know, like, well, no wonder I'm struggling with moving forward. And this is the messy middle for most of us that we're in this challenge and this kind of maybe wilderness or maybe battle of, gosh, I want to move forward, but I don't know if I can, if it's possible, if it's going to happen. Um, who will I be if I let go of this? Um, what will I have? Um, it feels like a repeat, you know, of like what I've always been through, of being disappointed and it being hard, whatever it is. And so the way we get there is, can I sit in the, can I celebrate the really good stuff? And just a little fact for you is that um, this is stuff, this is from the book, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember, oh, okay, so Rick Hansen talks about happiness. And it's in his book that I can't remember the name of it. I'm so sorry. You might have to Google it. But in it, it talks about basically our brains. You know, they're wired for survival. And so it's going to be, if you have something that doesn't work out or it feels kind of negative, it's like Velcro. If we have something that actually goes pretty good, it's almost like Teflon in our brains. We don't take very much time to register that. So what I would like you to do is start to think about whenever something positive happens, food, body image, I have a realization. He says it takes a good three minutes to create a little bit of a neural network to be able to like remember that, to remember that good things happen or that when I sit in a feeling and I let it move, wash through or have support with that, that if we don't celebrate that we're able to do that, it's not going to stick as easily. So it's really important if you have a, a great day with food. I had an awesome day with food. I ate supportively or I ate more or I took this challenge and it didn't kill me. Um, or for me, I look back like the first time I ever didn't not, not over exercise. I wish I would have remembered like, good for you girl. Like you didn't go to the gym again. And I know that was really hard and you woohoo, like be excited about it. Like actually be happy, ring a bell, like get some stickers for yourself. Like really, make it a thing and celebrate that because um, our brains aren't wired to like, especially if you've had any difficult background with like criticism or if you're not feeling good enough or whatever it is, uh, we're always scanning for the discomfort and what's not good versus can we give ourselves three minutes to celebrate what went well, even if it's the tiniest thing that's good. That's how we learn to be more, have a solider, more solid foundation for um, having more capacity and it's certainly with the food like if you were to let's say you have a day where you don't judge your body you're like maybe it's uh you know I don't love my body but I don't hate it either if you notice that then celebrate that for a second we don't live in a culture that celebrates you being like neutral with your body it's always pushing you to like pick it apart and be cruel and that may have been reinforced somewhere in your present or your you're worried about the future. You're worried about that for the past, you know, that happened in the past. Take a second and like, okay, I don't have to love it, but gosh, it feels good to be at that place where there's no pressure on me to have to love my body. I can just be okay. If you can celebrate that, you're more likely to get to the place where, and with less white knuckling, to be good with your body, to really see it for how it is. It's, it's goodness. You know, that in, there's inherently no bad one. So that's just one example. So I hope this helps. If any of you all have questions, I'd be happy to answer those questions now while I'm hanging out, doing my thing in the car line. Um, and if not, no big deal. I'll be able to be with you again next week. And remember, I'll be posting a podcast for y'all to, to take in. We talked a lot about like the messy middle of intuitive eating. Um, Mary and I did um, earlier um, in the last week or so. And that recording is going to be up for you guys tomorrow. Um, anything else I can mention? And we talked a lot about, um, woo, we got good because we talked a lot about competing and how, especially when you're in this body positive thing, it's really easy to feel like that somebody else's journey is much easier. And sometimes it is, but um, getting in that compare and despair game only pulls you apart one from yourself and really from the support of others so if you can catch yourself doing it please try not try to catch it be be gentle about it but use that maybe as a goal too of like you know I don't know what somebody other person's journey is on 
being cool with their body, no matter what size they're in. Because in this culture, we're all taught body hatred. It doesn't matter what size you're in. Is it harder in a bigger body size? Yeah, totally. Because you got to face some real junk. But um, but somebody who looks different from you, and this is kind of what we talked about, is like really having this strong bond of like it's bad for everybody, and how can we be there for each other? Um, in, a, in a more like I can see you kind of way. So we talked a lot about that kind of stuff. It was really good um, Anyway, so I hope you enjoy this video and I will be with you next week as well as if you ever have questions Please email me message me there, if there's a topic you want me to talk about I'm happy to do so um, otherwise, I'll see you live here next week and um, Let me see here. Yeah, Ch check out the um, podcast. It was a good one. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye